What's up everybody? Today we're going to have the battle of generations. I'm going to be, I am a millennial, a proud millennial. Not really, but anyway, I'm going to go around and ask you people, the Gen Zers, some questions about my generation to see what you know. This is going to be a true battle of generational differences. So I'm going to start off. All right, so first question here, Braden. What were the pants that MC Hammer wore? What were they called? Uh, was it, was it, was it parachute pants? <laughs> Boom, man, that was good. I'm glad you got that right. All right, I have a question for you. All right, what is it? What is a What is the cultural significance of Barbenheimer? I mean, that one's easy. That was when uh, the Barbie movie and Oppenheimer came out this summer and, you know, Hollywood's been struggling, but people went to a doubleheader. They went and watched one movie and then they went and watched the other movie. Very proud of you. Great job. Yes. Clearly, my generation is smarter. <laughs> ah, that hurts my foot. All right, I am here with... Miguel. Miguel, what um, generation are you part of? What's that mean? Well, oh. wait, like, oh. I think you're Gen Z. Are you Gen Z? Gen Z, Gen Z. That, that sucks. sucks. All right, Miguel, I got a question for you. In the 90s, how much was minimum wage? Like $7. Like $6. No. Uh, $5. No. $8.75. $8.70. This is like the price is right and you're wrong. No. You're way over. Way over? Yeah. Like $2. Uh, you're way under now. Okay. Four forty-five. Very close. The, the minimum wage in the 90s was 4.25. Yeah. I worked a whole summer and made like $487. Today I'm here with? What's that? I'm here with? Jay Wyndham. Jay Wyndham. What generation are you a part of? Uh, X? I don't know. Who is Mr. Beast? Mr. Who? Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I have no idea. What's up, everybody? We're here with... Evelyn. Evelyn, what generation are you part of? Gen Z. Gen that sucks. I'm sorry. My condolences on this. All right, I got a question for you. This is a finish the lyric. Are you ready? Yes. All right, it starts with an awesome guitar riff, maybe the best of all time. And then the first lyric to the song is, Josie's on a vacation! Chris, what generation are you part of? Gen Z. Can you name the five Spice Girls? I can't. Ice Spice is not a Spice Girl. I don't even know who they are. I don't even know who they is. Ginger, Sporty, Posh, Baby, and Scary Spice. Fun fact, freshman year of high school, but I performed, me and my buddies, we performed at a citywide thing as the Spice Girls. I was Sporty Spice. Clearly, my generation is smarter. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bulldog TV. I'm Evelyn Osborne. And I'm Adair Goodwin. With Thanksgiving right around the corner, we have a fun turkey themed show planned for today. Hey Adair, how about this one? What sound does a turkey's phone make? Uh, I don't know. Wing, wing, wing. <laughs> um, okay, well this week we have another student of the month ch challenge and an FFA update. And we'll see if some of our teachers are smarter than a high schooler. We also look back on our fall sports and check in with our basketball teams as their season begins. Let's give them pumpkin to talk about and head around campus. First, in Around Campus, the theater department has an upcoming show. They're performing Clue for the public on November 29th, the 30th, and December 1st. Tickets are now on sale for $5 through any cast member or Miss Eastloss in the black box. Come check it out. Next, we'd like to recognize our November Students of the Month. We had a fun Thanksgiving challenge planned for these awesome students that allowed them to put their artistic abilities on display. Here we have our Students of the Month and we're going to challenge them to create the best turkey hand. They have five minutes to create their turkey hand and once the time is up, the judges will judge which one is the best? Hi, my name is Mika and I'm the freshman student of the month. Hi, I'm Ellie, I'm sophomore student of the month. Hey, I'm Brian and I'm junior student of the month. 
Hi, my name's Greenlee and I'm Senior Student of the Month. You now have five minutes to complete your turkey. This is my turkey. Uh, next. Uh, <laughs> did we just, yeah, did we just uh, <laughs> Here's my turkey. Huh. Okay, next. Okay. Hey, Thomas, Luis, I would like to, to present you my turkey. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Okay. That's so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Next. This is my turkey. She has a bow. Her name is Samantha. Samantha is <clears throat> I don't like it. I don't like it. Tavis, I don't like it. <laughs> You know, I don't like it. I, I don't like it, Tavis. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Right. And that concludes our Student of the Month Challenge. Congrats to Brian for winning. I think those hand turkeys belong in a museum. Yeah, they were great. Greenland deserved better, though. Speaking of turkeys, our FFA teams once again have proven that they are some of the best in the state. Last year, our FFA wool judging team, coached by Mr. Cody Owens, consisting of 2023 graduate Brady Reeser, senior Alyssa Cox, junior Hunter Stevens, and senior Case Kelso, advanced to the national FFH and 4-H wool judging competition. The team competed in Dallas a few weeks ago at the State Fair of Texas, and the team finished as third best in the entire country. What an awesome accomplishment. In addition, our livestock judging team, coached by Mr. Riley and consisting of senior Brooke Reiniger, sophomore Cade Pate, senior Carly Schneider, and 2023 graduate Mason Wurzbach competed in the National FFA Livestock Judging Competition on November 1st. The competition was held during the National FFA Convention at the Indiana State fairgrounds in Indianapolis, Indiana. Once again, our Bulldogs represented and finished as the fourth best livestock judging team in the country. Congrats! Last month, the land and home site evaluation teams competed at Area 7 Fall Contest held in Blanco. The land team finished six overall, and the home site team consisting of junior Hadley Moat, junior Zane Gold, freshman Reese Schwab, freshman Logan Ranschleben, and alternate freshman Mason Lott, advance to the state contest, which will be held at, on April 25th at Tarleton State University in Stephenville. Both teams are coached by Mr. Owens. A few weeks ago, several of our teams competed at Palo Alto with two of them bringing home first place. On November 6th, 13 of our teams competed in the Guadalupe Valley District competition right here in Marion. 10 of those teams advanced to the area contest in Blanco that took place earlier this week, and eight of those teams finished in first place. Awesome job to all of our FFA teams, and best of luck as you continue to compete and advance. Special shout out to Mr. Riley, Mr. Lindbergh, Mr. Owens, and Ms. Minns. Thank you for everything that you do for our students and our community. Before we check in with our sports, we wanted to ask a few of our teachers some specific academic questions to see what they know or remember from their high school days. That's right, we wanted to see who is smarter than a high schooler. All right, Mr. Blyden, do you think you're smarter than a high school student? That's a trick question, but yes. What is the formula for the Pythagorean theorem? Pythagorean theorem, isn't that a squared plus b squared equals c squared? 
You are smarter than a high school student. Thank you. You guys got me all hyped for that? In a periodic table, do groups go up and down or side to side? Mm, side to side. You are not smarter than a high school student, Coach Bo. Do you think you're smarter than a high school student? We'll find out. What day was Pearl Harbor attacked? Wednesday. Tuesday. No, like, the Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> the exact day. <laughs> December 7th, 1941. You are smarter than a high school student. Open the door or I'm going to throw rocks through your window. What number president was Benjamin Franklin? Benjamin Franklin was a president? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a trick question. Ooh, no. So, you, so are, was you are smarter than high school <laughs> Yeah. All right, Coach Bennett, do you think you're smarter than a high school student? Most likely. Okay. <laughs> what is an Oxford comma? An Oxford comma? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a comma used in Oxford, England, that where people uh, have to pause in sentences to create a continuation of the story. Is that right? Okay, I guess that's right. Um, I can't tell if he's smarter than a high school student. Or not. <laughs> All right, who's next? The weather has turned cooler and the sun sets much earlier, which means that basketball season has begun. To allow two of our Bulldog basketball players to get a chance to put in some extra work for their season, we brought them into the gym along with a couple of teachers to have a shootout of epic proportions. Let's check it out! Hey guys, today I'm here with senior basketball player Richard Reyes and Coach A. And on the other team we have junior basketball player Breland Allen and Miss Love. And today we're going to be doing a basketball shootout. Each team is going to have one minute to see how many elbow jump shots that they can make. Alright, if y'all are ready. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead and switch balls for me real quick. Switch yeah, switch balls. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one. Wait, wait, wait. Before you shoot, you have to spin three times. On your mark, get set, go. Of course, we ended in a tie. So for the tiebreaker, whoever makes this next shot wins. On your mark, get set, go. And the winners are the girls team. All right, Breland, do you think that this win will motivate you for the rest of the season? Yeah, well clearly coach should take me out of the paint. I shouldn't be a center anymore, I should be a guard, you know, so I can really knock down those shots, but yeah, that's about it. All right, Richie, do you think that this heartbreaking loss is gonna impact the rest of your season? For sure, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna come back stronger than ever, you know, I can't lose like this again. So, I'm just gonna come back stronger and better. All right, that wraps up. See you in the studio. Our girls basketball team is one and two on the young season. They play again here at home against Pearsall on Monday, then next Wednesday, once again at home against Kennedy. Our boys team opens up their season tonight here at home against Davenport. Tip off is at 6.30. Best of luck to all of our Bulldog basketball teams as they start and continue their seasons. And remember, if you need any help with your jump shot, Miss Love is an East Campus ready to help. 
A big congrats once again to Kelly Selensky and her great showing at the state cross country meet a couple weeks ago. Also, congrats to all of our volleyball girls and their numerous all district accolades. And to our football boys on a solid, hard fought season. That's it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed watching. Before we leave, Luis asked some of you a few interesting Thanksgiving themed questions for this week's question of the week. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Friday and the happiest of Thanksgivings. We will see you for Christmas. Bye. What is going on, gang? Today we're going to be doing question of the week. I am your host, Luis Garcia. Let's hoppity doppity right into it, chat. Hey guys, what did it do? We're back at it again with two people, Megan the Stallion in this. Here with Rod Way. We're here with Katie Perry and Selena Gomez to ask them the questions. All right, first Rod Wave up. Would you rather have mashed potatoes or cranberry sauce on your toes? Mashed potatoes. Uh, mashed potatoes. Probably mashed potatoes. Would you rather put your feet in mashed potatoes or cranberry sauce and then lick it off? <laughs> no, none of that, but that's none weird. That? No, I'm not with that. No, all right. What about you? I'm not doing no, neither or, man. Oh, okay. So maybe you do all that stuff. Mashed potatoes or cranberry sauce on your toes? Probably mashed potatoes. Yeah. Second question. Turkey or ham? Turkey. Oh, you're mid. Anyways, would you rather have turkey or ham? Turkey. Turkey. Ah, uh, bet. That's kind of mid. Uh, we're going to ask little baby now. Little baby, would you rather have turkey or ham? Ham. Yeah. Top. Turkey or ham? Turkey. 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 All right. And for the last question, what is your favorite part about Thanksgiving? Food, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. People. Um, being with my family. What's your favorite part of Thanksgiving? I don't know, friends and family. What is y'all's favorite part of Thanksgiving? You. No, I'm playing. You, the food, the food. I. what about you? Food. Yeah, those are some really boring answers. And as Katy Perry says, Got me in like a dark horse. Are you ready for, ready for the perfect storm, perfect storm? There's no going back. Ruin when she, she bought, bought it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really good. I quit. <laughs>